But those that do love you, they'll love you a lot. Yes, that is me getting emotional in front of a bunch of kids while reading them a book. I'll explain and show more later in this video that's all about my experience at the Jasper Pride and Ski Festival. So Jasper is an alpine town in Western Alberta and our hotel had this rustic kind of feel, just like Jasper, and it was just on the edge of town, but it's a small town so it's easy to get around anywhere. And our first activity was to go skiing up at Marmot Basin because it is called the Jasper Pride and Ski Festival after all. Uh, the festival is actually 10 days long and this wasn't the big Pride Day at Marmot Basin, but it still looked like Pride there. Wow, it is actually really warm out here. This is the benefit of springtime skiing. You almost don't need a jacket, but you definitely need a rainbow neck warmer. Not for the warmth, just for the look. <laughs> After that, we went back into town to walk around and check out all the pride decorations. So many businesses decorate their windows for pride, which was really cool to see. Jasper only has about 5,000 residents, but this is actually the third biggest pride in the province, only behind Calgary and Edmonton. And look what's lining the center of the street. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! That evening we went to Drag Bingo, which was super fun because you get the perfect combo of games and entertainment. Most of the Pride events like this didn't actually cost anything to attend, so this place got packed. If you're there next year, I suggest going early, and they have great food and drinks anyway. The next day we drove out to a couple iconic spots around Jasper. We started at Old Fort Point where there is a great lookout area just outside of town. And then we went a bit further away to Pyramid Island where, wow, the nature is just spectacular. It's very quiet and calming there. That was on our own, but then we also went with Jasper Motorcycle Tours to check out more of the area in style. I rode in the sidecar and our guide took us around for a fun and unique way to see more of Jasper National Park and the beautiful nature out there. And that evening they were having a burlesque night, another popular and free event with great entertainers, most of which I think were coming from Edmonton. That's the nearest big city, it's about four hours away. Now we get to the part with the Pride story time at the public library. So I was invited to go and I thought it was just to check it out, but once I got there they asked me if I wanted to read a story to the kids. Because it's not a drag story time, it's a Pride story time. So there were some drag queens reading, but there was also a politician, a couple members from the community and then they wanted me to do it too and so I thought sure why not and they gave me this selection of books to choose from and I was just sort of like quickly looking through and then one kind of caught my eye that's called my shadow is pink and I thought sure I'll give this one a shot even though I'd never even heard of it before let alone read it before it seems like this little boy is somebody who feels a little bit different from everybody else and that's something that I think I could relate to maybe a lot of people could relate to so I thought we should read this together it's written by Scott Stewart and inspired by his son, with the main character liking things like fairies and princesses and stuff not for boys, and coming to the realization that some people have a side of themselves that they feel they need to hide, but overcoming that with the support of his dad. Your shadow is you, and pink it will be. So stand up with your shadow and yell, this is me. And some they will love you, and some they will not. But those that do love you, they'll love you a lot. Make it, making me happy, this book. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like this book. Like I was really lucky to have very supportive parents myself too, but coming from a small place in Alberta as well, but many years prior, it just really struck me as to like what that would have meant for me back then to have a pride story town like that or to have books like those when I really just didn't have any resources at all. Nobody to look up to in the LGBTQ community, no role models. Um, it just seemed like something that was really taboo and that I might have to hide for the rest of my life. And I just looked around the room and thought, wow, these kids won't ever have to go through an experience like that to that same level. Because um, they've got things like Pride Story Time and they've got LGBTQ people around them and it's celebrated. So it just, it made me emotional and a few more times as I read, I did get kind of a lump in my throat or my voice got a bit shaky, but I did make it all the way through. I stride in my class and I puff out my chest. I may be different, but different is best. I join a small group, though I don't blend in. They look up and smile. Will you be our friend? That's the end. 
And we still had two Pride activities left for our final day in Jasper. The first being Pride Peaks at the Jasper Sky Tram, where we went up to the top of Whistler's Mountain for the amazing views up there. Uh, we also had lunch there where we got some great food with the great views and some great drag queens. So you got to like look at the beautiful drag queens and then see the beautiful scenery behind them. And then we rented snowshoes to go walk out on the snow because again, we were very high up and just see the like incredible views around Jasper. A benefit of pride in a town like this is most things are within walking distance. Nothing's as close as this one. Yes, our final event was in the basement of our hotel and it was called Saggy Toe-In, which loosely translates to love one another. And this was a celebration of the Two-Spirit community. It was a fun night of drag and dancers, which was free to attend and a great way to end our trip. And that was my experience during the Jasper Pride and Ski Festival. We were only there for three days and a bit, so like a third of the whole festival, but as you saw, there was a lot to see and do, and of course even more going on, but we just couldn't do everything. And it's a really great time to visit because you're out of the cold winter season, but you're not into the super busy summer season. You've got Pride going on, you can still ski. It's kind of the best of all worlds. Thanks for watching and please share your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you ever been to Jasper or another pride like this? Let me know and I appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course subscribe if you're new because I'm going to have another video very soon. Bye!